the Saturday screening. Nice that you're here. Um, last month, I began by taking a look at variable, that is, taking a look at those four aspects that are there in our design that point us towards the potential for all of us to be cognitive. That is, for all of us to be able to reach our full cognitive potential, to be aware, not simply intelligence, but beyond intelligence, for awareness. Yet all of this begins with a process that is physical. It has to do with the body. Human design, human design is rooted in understanding that we're a binary consciousness, that we have this basic duality in us, a consciousness that is dedicated to, to the maintenance and operation of our, our bodies, and a consciousness that is really about filtering the experience of life. This physical consciousness, this body consciousness that you find in your design, that the way we access this is through strategy and authority. Strategy and authority is not just simply about aligning your body to what is correct for it and, and ultimately in that sense what is healthy for it, but it's also the most profound step that you can take in awakening the potential of awareness in your life. By honoring your strategy and authority, you take away from your mind its involvement in making decisions in your life. It is the one thing that mind is not about. It may be about research, it may be about measurement, it may be about many things, but it's not an authority to guide you in this life. It's only when you begin to surrender to your body's consciousness that you begin to live a life that is truly correct for you. But this is the beginning of the process. As I mentioned last month in discussing variable, in variable, ultimately what we get to see is four stages in the transformation away from homogenization to being a differentiated human being with all of its potential. And this differentiation begins with making decisions correctly as yourself so that you're aligned physically on this plane to a trajectory that is correct for you. But there is something deeply important to keep in mind, that there are these four stages that are there that are necessary for you to align yourself to what is your uniqueness. And it begins with food. Now, food's a real trip, isn't it? Aside from the billions on this planet who suffer from a lack of necessary calorie intake. Aside from all of those beings on the planet on the other side of that extreme who are obese and who have had all kinds of dilemmas with food in their lives, that we're dealing with one of those essential elements in what it is to be us, what it is to be a bioform, what it means for us to be able to fuel our process. There are billions and billions and billions of dollars that are spent all the time on trying to heal the dilemmas of food abuse at one level or another. The diets that fill all of the, you know, the magazines and the, the video features and all of these things. There's something very important to grasp. It isn't about food. It's about digestion. It's about digestion. And when you look at human design and you look at the, the first variable stage, what you're looking at is the theme of digestion. And it's this theme of digestion that allows us, in essence, to bring the correct nutrition into our system. It's not about what you are eating. It is about the conditions or the circumstances in which you eat. I mean, think about creatures in the wild and think about the processes they go through. You know, the way in which they crank up their systems in order for them to be able to, you know, eat the raw food that they're going to take into their bodies. It's like the house cat playing with the mouse. It seems to be cruel. And yet it is a biomechanical process that's going on in the cat to create the necessary uh, chemistry in the cat's stomach to be able to deal with its diet. Digestion is everything. It's everything. 
You see, in human design, it isn't about whether you're eating fast food or you're eating bio food or, you know, natural or this or that or whatever it is or this kind of cuisine or that kind of cuisine because it's not the point. It's not. It's how you take the food into your body. It's how. Fundamentally, what we have is that we have six groups. They actually break down into a duality for each so that ultimately we have 12 kinds of ways in which human beings are designed to digest their food, designed to take food into their system. It is part of what differentiates us. It is not simply a matter that uniqueness is some kind of thing that floats around ephemerally. It's not. It's something to grasp that each and every one of us have a mechanical way of laying the foundation of our uniqueness and the transformation in our lives, and it begins with the food that we take in. You see, when you're taking food correctly into your system, then you nourish yourself in a way that enhances your potential to differentiate. It also takes away so many of the problems of not eating correctly. In this process of discovering what is the correct way for you to take food in, we have two basic divisions. We have conditions and we have circumstances. Those beings who have conditions built into their design, there's a very specific way they're intended to take food in. If you think about these six basic divisions in our planet of approximately seven billion creatures, that each and every one of these dietary, rep dietary regimens represent over a billion human beings who have this configuration. There are a billion human beings on this planet who are truly designed to eat only one thing at a time. This is the first and the foundation dietary regimen. It goes back to our ancient past. It's a dietary regimen that says it, you can only take things in one at a time. It's called the caveman, cavewoman diet. And yet think about those beings who are part of that collection of a billion plus, who live in this world in which the plenty, all the variations that are there for them, all the foods that are preparations that are mixed, these are beings that from the very moment that they began their process, they have been conditioning themselves in the most negative fashion by taking the wrong food into their system, by not, not operating correctly as themselves. Every human being has a unique dietary regimen. It's something to discover. This is part of the knowledge known as primary health system. It's part of what I do when I tour and teach radical transformation, offering the keys to each of these elements so that you know for yourself that you can experiment with taking food correctly into your system. I happen to have a dietary regimen that's called CALM. And it's one of my standing jokes that if I'm calm, I can eat absolutely anything anything. It's a circumstance. There are conditions and there are circumstances. But don't be fooled by the homogenized sales pitch that it's all about food and how much you eat and when you eat and what the content is and all that stuff. It's a lie because it's not about the food. It never has been. It's only about one thing. Are you taking the nutrition correctly into your body? Dietary regimen. The first step in true cognition. To nourish yourself correctly is to enhance the potential of your physical brain, is to enhance the potential of your sensory system. It's an enormous step forward in laying the foundation, ultimately, for awareness conditions, circumstances, dietary regimen. It's a real key. Hope you enjoyed that. See you next month. Mm -hmm.